Hello everyone, my name is Commander and welcome to an episode of Art Survival Evolved. Today we're going on a magical adventure to the Beaver Dams, and that's all we're doing today. Other than that, what else are we going to do today? Uh, the other thing we're going to do today is we are going to build another bunker. I was going to show you the first bunker, but the first bunker was kind of puny. And we're going to build another bunker. And this bunker is going to be mounted on the side of our, my walkway up. We're really trying to fortify at this point to prevent any sort of aggressive ground-based assault. Um, I don't know when Sunky will be coming back to the server, but uh, if he comes back, he's definitely going to come back as an, uh, as an aggressor, and I want to be ready for it. So, we are at the Beaver Dams, and you can see one right now. Hopefully the server does not lock up like it was the other day. Um, first off, if you ever have any and you want to get... I would suggest some sort of heavy melee area of fetch dino to work with you when you do this. Um, if you have a lot of ground-based dinos, I would bring them all so you can collect the wood, so you can burn the wood for gunpowder. Just a personal opinion of mine, I did the math, one forge can only make 30,000 bullets in a day. Now that might sound like a lot, but when you start placing a lot of turrets, especially on an unofficial server, that's a lot of wood to cut down. So if you can get the wood for cheap, you might as well. So, we're up here, and you notice I can access it from here. And this one doesn't look like there's much. I need to be quick, too, because the beaver's going to come. Um, so, we're going to do this. And this particular one didn't require the destruction like others. But a lot of times, the beavers get stuck inside the in, inside the dam. And then, next thing you know, you can't get in. Well, you, you can steal some minting paste like I did just now. But then the beaver dam is just chock full of wood and not going away. And that's why I suggest a griffin for this. Short work and it's over. You can't argue with results. And we're just going to throw out the pelt because we don't need it. need to put those blueprints in a box. Or a bookshelf. So. We've gotten everything out of here. And actually I don't even need to land on it. What we're going to do actually in order to get rid of it. And, we're just gonna, and this is another reason why I suggest the Griffin for the massive damage it does. Uh, if you don't short yourself there. Mm. I mean, I just did a thousand damage to it. It'll take about four hits. But it'll be gone. Now, you could probably chomp on it with the reds and destroy it pretty quickly, too. But the Griffin in general is just, it's, it's more mobile. And if you're not here for the wood, this is the route I go with. If you are here for the wood, just bring a right to a Giga. That would be that would be the better idea. So first off, we are going to build several foundations. Um, last one I used 12. I want this bunker to be a little bigger, so I'm going to go by a 5 by 7. So 5 by 7 is 35. I need 35 metal foundations, and I have at least enough to craft 93 good. already made two there we go that should make 35 foundations I don't want to make more and then have extras uh, second thing we're gonna craft is well we're definitely gonna need some walls but I don't know how many uh, I like to build with with sloped roofs and the reason why I like to build with sloped roofs is the sloped roof gives an extra bit of armor plating to your standard walls uh, you can slope it all the way down yes people can walk right up but normally, I'm not too worried about people walking up, because if they're that close, they're going to shoot you off your whatever you're using or anything like that. Uh, they're going to get in anyway. So the extra armor is more important than worrying about people walking up. I'm going to have to cancel that build. We're just going to build what we, what we know we need off the bat, and then take it down mm -hmm. there, figure out how wide this structure is going to be, how, how tall. I know I'll need a doorway, because I want to have ground access. I also need a hatch frame. I'm going to say that's the hatch frame. I'm fortunate that without the tool tips, I can't tell that was the hatch frame. I really hope that's the hatch frame. Oh, yeah, I can. Well, just do cute. Metal window. Yeah, I made the wrong one. Uh, metal trap door. Thankfully, I had a trap... Oh, no, I had a metal window also. That was the hatch frame. That was the hatch frame. I just had the other thing in there, too. We're just going to have to do that for now to make sure we can identify things because we can't highlight over them at the moment. Um, so, I think that's all we're going to carry down for now. And I can't carry it all. 
Wait, I can't carry it all because I have too much oil. There we go. All in there because I don't need none of you. Um, so, there we go. And we're going to just run down there because it's really not far. Uh, I did think about bringing a mountain down with me, but I'm not gonna. I don't. I don't think I need it. You can see the first bunker right here, and it's not actually done. Uh, one of the things we're gonna do on this is, and you can see I've tried to armor it. The side doesn't have any armor. I think I'm gonna put some armor on it, but I'm not too worried about it as much as the foundations are getting knocked out. Um, Actually, I don't see why I worried about the foundations, because this is just built with regular structures. Oh my god, I was stupid when I built this. But anyway, the idea was this little bunker right here is going to have a turret mounted to it. Probably a ballista with a... Hello, hatch frame. Auto close only. I don't want to fall through. Um, it's going to have a ballista with a chain bolt on it. And basically, there's going to be turrets setting up here that are going to engage whatever's here. So the chain bola is going to hold whatever mount is trying to chomp through before it even gets to the gate. You'll be mounted on that chain bola back here and you'll just chain bola them from back there and then you'll get off your mount and you'll run and hide. Either the, And they'll want to try and take out the rocket launcher but they won't be able to. So the chain bola here is a trap. And uh, that's just to slow ground mounts from getting up here. They're going to have to soak the bullets and they're not going to get away. Uh, I was talking to Vape Train last night, and he was, because I've never really done a lot of raiding, so this is all new to me, uh, about actually having to really defend against it, as much as maybe even eventually raid. When I send a bullet soaker in, I would send it in to die. I wouldn't, I would not be looking to bring it out alive. According to Vape Train, he is looking to bring his stuff out alive. So, he will try and withdraw with his bullet soaker so he can use it again. So, with having that chain bola right there, we can chain up whatever mount is uh, attempting to run, as well as chain bullet quetzals and hold them down right there if they try and do some sort of aerial attack from there or lower down over there, and uh, just crush this them. This is Don't where. Get away. Was it here? No, this wasn't gonna be a bunker spot, but I think it's gonna be another bunker spot. This whole, when I'm done with it, this whole walkway will be tons of doors, and. Uh, Getting up here should be more problematic than just walking up here. Um, yeah, I, I kind of like this spot. I think this is going to make another bunker. Now, how am I going to build the bunker? I think this particular bunker is going to be built heavily armored this way and this way. But not so much that way, because there's not going to be much trouble that way. So let's go ahead and pull out the foundations. That's a five. I was gonna make it. Oh no, it's a six. Well, because I'm building here, this is not gonna. I don't know. We're gonna have to place a wall real quick. We're gonna have to get some vertical height to us. Oh, I didn't make a wall. Oh, I didn't bring it. Crap. Um, uh, that tree's gonna have to go. Cause that's just cover for them. I won't be. Well, actually, leaving that tree will be a good thing. Because they won't be able to see where the bullets are coming from. They'll walk up and they'll run right into the thing. They'll, they won't be able to see where I'm at. And I can just kind of spray in there with a minigun. Because I plan on attaching a minigun to this uh, particular bunker. It's going to shre hopefully shred whatever is there. And I just had another idea. Oh, I can't do it so well. That's not going to work like I thought. Uh, ideas that just, unfortunately, you can't hang stuff in the game. That would be so cool. Stuff that attach from the bottom instead of just on top. Um, this bunker is actually going to be a better bunker than the other bunker. So, what am I going to do? I'll bring you back when I figure out what I'm doing. Alright, guys, I think I figured out what we're doing. Um, this bunker right here is going to pretty much be a similar build to the other one. I might expand it one more wide seeing after what happens here but I, w I was getting to look and you'll see the main bunker up here 
and hopefully there'll be a distraction of a bunker right there. This would be good to have like a hanging bridge that just had turrets lining it from the bottom that just shot down at people as they came through. That would be cool. Um, hmm. I just had an idea. What if we did build a bridge? But the bridge was nothing more than a metal tube with a hatch frame. When they come on, or come through with their mounts, you could stand up there with the assault rifle if you wanted and shoot down on them. You could turn it into a little bridge-like defensive post. Or, as they come underneath, you could shoot rockets or just throw C4 down a hole right onto their mount. I think that'd be a pretty good idea. Oh my god, I have so many ideas. Oh my god, I I, I so badly want to get the I want to build it. I'm gonna build it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna establish a little bridge up here, like I was talking. And how we're gonna do that is these foundations are stackable, and that's gonna make it easier for me. Now you don't have to have stackable foundations to do this. You can do this with regular foundations. Um, I would say pillars. Using pillars would be what you'd use in replace of in respect to what I'm doing. Uh, the best way to do it is yeah. Okay, this is how you would do it. I can explain it to you at least. Uh, I've got I've got foundations. You what you would do is you would set up your foundations down there, line them up. Then you would run a single pillar, probably wood, preferably wood, all the way up. Then you would take a thatch roof and slap it on top once you reached your desired general height. Then you take another thatch roof and shoot it over one more. Uh, wow, this doesn't work as well for you guys as it does me. Okay. So we'll just go over it, and then we'll explain the faults of this. So you would take a thatch roof, put it there. Put a thatch roof right where this is, basically. Then you take another thatch roof, drop it here. Then you would take a pillar, preferably wood again. Set it down into the... You'll set it into the ceiling, which is going to create a snap point. If uh, the, the pillar doesn't press into the ground enough, you place another pillar, and it should press it into the ground, although your snap point is going to be really deep. So then you're going to have to start going and raising the pillars in that case. So what you'll have to do is throw, more th throw a thatch ceiling on... You'll want to demolish your old pillar and your old ceiling. And you'll throw a new thatch roof on the pillar that's stuck in the ground. So, one, so you'll set it in the ground, and you'll throw a thatch roof on top of that pillar. Then you'll throw another thatch... Uh, Alright guys, so i uh, got you back now. Um, you can definitely see their admin commands up in the corner there. I spawned all this in because it is off of what I'm doing, and so we're going to go ahead and implement it. I'm going to show you. And you do not need no clip for this. Or at least last I knew you didn't need no clip. Because I was doing this on official servers long ago. This I built a uh, foundation perimeter around my uh, base. So the first thing you would do is you would stack pillars up this way. We're not going to go all the way down. And the reason why we're not going all the way down is I'm trying to save myself the trouble of going down and then coming back up. Basically, I'm being lazy. So, we're going to build pillars up into the height we need. I'm going to say right there, right? We're going to take a ceiling and do this. And now, first of all, I'm going to show you something. See how... Is it not going to do it now? Have they changed that? You used to get a little nub. Don't tell me they changed it. Okay, let's just go ahead and do this first. If I do that, and I do... Just snap, 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 snap. Maybe you can't do it on that one. I think that's why I can't do it on that one. 
No, that's not what we wanted. And you'll notice it's very hard to manage this, especially when you're closer to the ground. Um, there we go, right there. No. But you saw what I'm showing, I'm trying to show there at least. That That's, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Uh, just trying to get that nub to, there we go. And you see that nub? Let me show you something. Look at that. Right there, you can just attach it. But, we're going a little further, we're going to take it all the way over here if it'll let us know. So, we need to put down, and let's just cycle this stuff out to stay out of the inventory. Um, and by the way, if you, those admin commands in the corner are to control admins, so admins can't abuse anything, especially while other people are on the server, that way people will see it. Um, so, let's say you came up off that sheer cliff, because I'm building it right here where the cliff kind of drops. And you wanted to snap it over. So you would build as close as you can with the first foundation. Then you'd run a pillar all the way up. Slap a ceiling out like we did here. So you can see that's up there. Then you'd run ceilings over as far as you can. Particularly in this case, since you're right next to the edge, you'd run two ceilings over. And then you would drop a pillar. So that's where we're at here. We have dropped our first pillar that attached us to the area. And you may not even have to do that one. You may be able to just go from this one and run two. So let's say this is our pillar up over that sheer cliff. This is the spot we want the foundation. Or we, In our case, we want it over here. But we want it over here. This is where we're wanting it, generally. Because if you want it perfect, you're going to have to build it from up here perfect. But otherwise, you're going to have to snap to match down there. So let's say this is our sheer cliff pillar that came up to line up with it all. This ceiling is where we want the foundation. This ceiling is how we're going to make that foundation attach. Because actually, if you notice offhand, I can't, I can't attach. You see where the, the foundation is snapping? Look how low it's snapping. Well, that's not going to work for us. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do this. No, 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 no. And this can be problematic sometimes. Um, Sometimes you can do this as well. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna redo this because I'm having too much trouble with that. It's too low, and so that's something else to remember when you do this. You can end up with structures that are you can end up with pillars that are absolutely too low and that just don't work. We're going to pick these up because I'm trying not to spawn more stuff in if I don't have to. All right, so four. All right, you can see there, look, look what I did. And this is just in the beginning. Uh, we should have a very good snap for our foundation. You can see it's snapping really high. Um, yeah, it's snapping really high. And that's essentially the idea. But what you can do, and I don't know how much further this one will run, because we are already pushing our length here. We're going to snap a ceiling. And I can't really see too well, but we're going to try and get another nub. And, no, not there. Right there. You can sometimes tell with, well, that didn't work. And that's just, and that's the problem I have a lot of times. That's why I don't double layer or triple layer things. Um, I, I get a lot of miss snaps, even though it says it's going somewhere else. We're going to do this. Come on, come on. I was getting better luck this way in third person. All right, you can see the green bars. Oh, there we go. It moved. What you're looking for is... Well, there it worked. It worked. I don't know why it worked, but it worked. And uh, we managed to get the pillar. You're going to get a lot of missed snaps. Uh, at least if you're anything like me, you end up with a lot of trouble like that. So you can see we got our pillar in there, and now you see there are two layers. This pillar is just barely above that one. And now we can snap another ceiling. And you always need at least one more pillar probably than you do ceilings. If you're trying to get, like, when you're trying to snap the foundation. And now you can see, look at the pillar, look at the foundation. Multiple snap points from just two pillars. And I think one of our snap points is coming from over here. But 
even then, you have, we'll, we'll do it over here. You have one snap point, you have two snap points, and see, you don't have any more. And we can do another, and it did the same thing again, it lied to me. Oh, that one was my fault. And then maybe the other one was my fault too now. Okay, see, so we got that. And the problem is when you get this high, you start needing the ladders uh, to do it. So preferably when you're setting up stackable foundations, they're closer to the ground. And you're just trying to adjust to keep a square foundation lined up. This does not mean your wall is going to be straight across. What this does, it means it aligns all your walls. Uh, it aligns all your foundations horizontally up and over hills. That's what this does. And you can repeat this process off of a foundation. You snap a foundation here. And what you do is you run that pillar from that foundation right here. And you, you drive the pillar right. See how it snaps right into it? You drive that pillar right into the foundation. And you keep going up. If for some reason you can't get the pillar to drive in, snap a wall, put a ceiling over it, drop the pillar in the ceiling. And actually in some cases you can use ceilings to skip some of the levels so you don't have to start from the bottom. You Like what I did here when I was having trouble, I built up and then went over and came down. There was always a snap point no matter what. It just may not be exactly where you want it. So that's kind of what, we're, we, what we did. We adjusted it by going up. And uh, it worked out perfect for us. So now we can stamp that foundation. But you could also see. I had that one. I have that snap point. Let's just let's get rid of this thing. So I have there. Oh, let's just let's find the right spot. I'm having trouble now. We can just hit Q. See? Multiple snap points. And Q, Q, Q. Q, Q, Q. It moves. And that means you can just go ahead and snap to any one of those positions. So let's say it's turning red down here because you're on an official server and it doesn't want to snap. Well, if you can raise a snap point up, next thing you know, you can move it to that height. And now it's green. And then now you don't have to worry about it. The foundation is just flush to the ground. And you're u utilizing all the foundation or something like that. That's what this does. It lets you rearrange the foundations. I'm sure you've probably seen the foundation trick. But I just wanted to go over it to help you out. Uh, and maybe even explain to you how you can build what I'm about to build here. Uh, take that out. Get rid of that. We don't need any of this. And this is, that was how you build it without S+. Plus, or no clipping, for that matter, as well. No clipping makes this so much easier. And actually, in a way, I think I'm going to be doing the same thing. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be building with foundations because I have the foundations to do it. That's why I'm going to be doing it this way. Otherwise, I would be doing it exactly the same way you were. This is not an S+, plus thing. Well, it is an S+, plus thing, but it's not like I had to do it with S+. Plus. Gonna do that. We are going to come down. Maybe. Snapping foundations is always hard. And see, we're just pillaring with foundations, is what we're doing. Because there's no limit from the range from a pillar and how much weight you can put vertically or. Uh, no, there's no limit how high or low you can build from it. Um, until you hit that maximum cap, which is really far away. That's actually further away. That's not going to work. I might need to get a bird. I'm gonna all get right, bird. boys and girls, we got it all built. And I'll actually tell you, it would probably have been a little easier with pillars than it would have been with these foundations. But we managed to get it to work anyway. Uh, so what we're going to do now, at least for the moment, we are going to pillar down. We're just going to get rid of everything but the last foundation. Alright, you can see there we are. 
I had a lot of trouble. A lot of the snapping wasn't wanting to work with it. But now we're good. And now we can just build right across. And you might be wondering, what the heck am I doing here? Um, this is a trick I learned a long time ago about arc. You don't have to actually be connected on all points. I built a floating base once that had one pillar holding up a 20 by 20 area. And the, re the way you build that... I will show you. Not going to waste anything here. Four. There we go. Oop. We'll get that back. Thankfully, I have S+. Plus. S+, plus is probably my biggest lifesaver when it comes to all this. Because I get, I get excited and I waste a lot of structure. Okay. So we pretty much have our coverage. Now, we're going to remove this guy because I want it to be a walkway capable of being used yeah so yeah we're gonna leave it like that actually I'm gonna lower these now on official servers you will not be able to do this but the principle still applies I know where they're at and just it means these can't be destroyed but these aren't gonna be the problem uh, of what they're going to want to destroy. They're going to want to destroy something up there, which is going to hold every bit of this up. Alright, guys, bringing you back again. We're just making the run down to the area. And uh, this is the part where I'm going to show you how to build something that floats. And, um, and when I say this, you are still in a very risky situation. Building such, uh, items like this, take the risk of dropping the entire structure. Uh, with one disconnected snap point. I could build this all the way across and someone break one foundation and half of this base will drop. Half of this structure will drop if that happens. I did it on my other one. Thankfully, I had only had built it in wood and I was trying to replace the pillars below my base with uh, metal foundation, which replacing pillars is extremely hard. And uh, so... I heavily suggest if you're building something like this, you at least know what you're getting into. This is not just something you can just do. Alright, All right, now you can see I can't build anything here. But we're going to get our foundation support here real soon. And I really should have brought the other guy back with me. Thankfully, with S+, plus, there are no nubs. And that means I don't have to look at the nub. But I also can't press the buttons, it seems like. Alright, and I'm going to see if I can get down there, because I built... That's further than I built last time. But I may have to go run and grab the... Griffin. Oh, it helps if you get up on the foundation. I think I was too. I'm going to remove that rock. Yeah, no way to get that attached from down here. So I'm going to run and grab the Griffin. Okay, guys, we're back. And I do want to point out one other thing. Uh, aside from, can I just snap it without flying? That would be great. There we go, I had to fly. Uh, what, the other thing I wanted to point out was um, I can do this the way I'm doing it because S plus foundations or pillars are exactly one foundation in height. Regular pillars have a extra half if I'm right. They're a little taller and they can really readjust your stuff. Um, you might be able to manage it with the others, but my biggest suggestion is if you're building with pillars and uh, First off, don't pull out your super spy glass. If you're building with pillars and you're trying to get all this to snap, um, build from the bottom up. Don't build down like I'm doing. I can get away with this because I've got I'm using S plus. Everything kind of squares up with S plus, and uh, that makes it work really really well. 
But if you're not using S plus, use uh, uh, go work from the bottom to the top. That that's important when you when you do this. Otherwise, what's going to happen is your pillar is going to reach your found is going to reach your ceiling, and it will not actually connect. It will run through it, but it won't connect and it won't support the structure. So that can be an issue. And I saw that a couple times, and I was always worried about that with uh, uh, when I was working with stuff. Now you can always work down to the bottom of the ground if you're just connecting directly to the ground. But if you're doing what I'm doing with a single pillar, this is another concept that is dangerous. If you have a pillar holding up the whole structure, and then you, let's say you wanted to build one on the other side, and you work your way down, it may not match up with and connect with the foundation. Again, S plus kind of helps prevent that, and they'll square up and match up no matter what anyway. But with regular pillars, you can't do that so easily. I think I just needed two more. I wish when the griffin fell, it would just jump right to the dive. Um, I might have needed a third. Yeah, I needed a third. Alright, one more. One moss. And then we can continue with our demonstration on how to build something that floats. Or oh, that only has one pillar running to it, I should say, because it never really floats. It just will not require pillar support all the way up. It saves you a lot of resources, especially if that's the primary project you're working on. Yeah, or like right now it would fall into a dive and just hit the flight. That'd be so cool. So, one more pillar. Alright. Okay. Now, that should all be squared up. I'm really hoping so. And if it did square up like it's supposed to, otherwise we're going to run into the exact same thing I was trying to point out of not building one way but building the other way. And we'll find out and then we'll redo this. So right now, there should be an attachment to that. And look, you can see I've attached a pillar there. Now, yeah, so far we're good for two supports. Look, three, four, five, six. Now you might be wondering, well, how do you do this? It's the same concept as large open, can or large open bases. That's what this is. It is literally just taking what you have already been doing with your base when you build a very large base that holds gigas. You don't have to run pillars all the way up. Once you have foundations underneath, it supports it. You just need a connecting piece between the pillars and the ceilings. Or not the pillars, the foundations and the ceilings. As long as you have one connecting piece... You could have one wall holding up an entire ceiling with just one wall holding it all up. And that's what I've done before with uh, with my float, what I referred to as my floating base. And it, it's awesome when you can do something like that. So hopefully you learn from this video. Um, I may go into greater depth, in depth or detail and explain it on how to do it in another video. I'm thinking I really want to now because I feel like without doing, oh, oh I just destroyed something. Oh. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, <laughs> we'll get this all set up here, and I will say back. we have another two options we could go with. Uh, right now, you can see I am building across. Well, I have now established the link across the other side, 
and I actually should go ahead and try and manage to fit a foundation if I have any left, but I think I used... Did I have a foundation there? Can I attach that somehow? I don't think so. I was going to say I should attach one up here if I could, but uh, I think I've kind of run my limit. And really, it would be better to have another pillar just for safety's sake, because right here, and this is what I'm talking about, if someone were to detach that pillar, everything from two foundations away from the actual foundation that's mounted there would fall. This whole thing would drop. And so we don't want that, and so another pillar on the other side would help hold that up and maintain that support. So if even if they snapped it right in the center, neither side would fall. Now, if they snapped it on the right side and then on the left side, everything in the center would drop. The point is, it's the same thing back to what we were referring to earlier. Uh, the ceilings will stay standing provided you have one wall connected to the foundations and the same ceilings. It'll hold all of it up. And that's why you have to destroy the foundations to drop a lot of the building. Otherwise, most of the building will stand or you have to drop all the walls, which is better to go for the foundations. So, now our two options. We could build down or we could build up. I really feel this hatch frame... You know, I don't know. I don't know. I feel one down might be better. Let's see. We can find out. So we're going to do this. We are going to place a... Why do I have ramps? I thought I had more ceilings. I thought I built more ceilings! Now on the note of this, uh, the plan was to have a hole to throw C4 down, or throw grenades down, or whatever. Uh, to drop explosives down the way on them. I don't know anymore if that's what I want. I might actually want this right here to be a hole and drop... So we're going to snap a ceiling here. And if i got to jump, I'll jump. Oh, we can't do that like that. We have got to do another wall. And this is how you attach from the bottom if you don't know how to do this. Just in order to attach a ceiling, you have to have another wall underneath it to do this. And then all you have to do... And we're in the same... Oh, that's not a... There we go. Do that. Do that. And we can take out this structure. And I think we might have to take it out from the other side. But we can knock out that wall right there afterwards. And then this will all just hang from the one ceiling. It's it's really weird that you had to put a ceiling down first. But even then, you only had to put down the one to get the entire thing to work again. Now, I'm not sure I like the height. I think it's a really good height. But... I'm kind of tempted to go the other route. With Looks it. like that's going to be it, pretty much. I've got just two more windowed walls to put up on this, which one is down below hanging right now, which we'll go ahead and grab later off off camera, and we'll get it up there, and I'll build one more. And then I need to put another hatch frame down so I can start dropping C4 on people. But uh, it's all pretty much assembled. Everything's hanging from the from it, and you can see it's held up by one pillar. Uh, it's freaking awesome. Uh, that pillar should be able to hold everything up. Now, I just need to get my way out of here. Uh, oh, I had the ladder. Okay, cool. I thought I was trapped. So you guys, uh, take care.